Anything good back there? It's just a really good job by our pitching staff. Obviously, they uh, they they recorded a lot of outs, maybe nineteen of them, and uh, it was just a uh, kind of a back and forth game. We made a base runner mistake, and you know it could have been a big swing there, but uh, fortunately, you know, pitchers kept them down, and uh, and I just really liked Mac out of the pen. He came out and. You know, it's just filling it up away, busted a couple fastballs. And I don't know if he got tired there a little bit at the end. Um, but, uh, you know, on the offensive end, it was uh, some clutch hitting, took our walks, we're patient. And, uh, you know, we just, we never let them get the momentum back. It seemed like when they took the lead, we caught them and we got ahead of them. They, they were kind of rallying, you know, and we, we just, we just never gave it up. And, uh, you know, when Kendall hit the the three-run homer, um, they kind of would use the same sequence that uh, they used against McLaughlin, two breaking balls, and then try to sneak a fastball by McLaughlin, and they did. He took it, and then exact same sequence that uh, they tried to, you know, it looked like to, to, to use on digs, and he caught the fastball and hit it out of the park. Obviously, that was the big swing and gave us – a little cushion there and made us feel a little bit better about leaving McIntyre out there instead of going to maybe a closer or a different pitcher. So um, that was a good win. Then how did you assess Hagan's start today? Uh, really, really good. But, you know, just uh, facing a tough lineup, you know, I, I thought he was good. You know, amazing thing, he keeps his stuff, you know. I mean, their last inning, he's still pumping the 95, 96, and he could have gone out another inning. We're just, you know, just trying to take care of him a little bit. And, uh, you know, that pitch count's built up. and But uh, his stuff was real good. I mean, I've seen him great. I've seen today he was real, real good. But I've seen him great. And then Stone fell behind 3-0 against that guy and then battled back. Just what did you see from that at bat? And I assume would you have gone to Gackle after that if he didn't get him? Can't give away all our secrets, okay? But, uh, yeah, it was good to see Stone come in there and get that lefty. I mean, that was his job, get that hitter right there. Finish the game. Uh, spun a couple breaking balls, didn't throw him for a strike, maybe three in a row. Then he threw three fastballs in a row. And uh, I liked the way he didn't get all uptight about it and just, you know, basically did what we wanted him to do. And that was throw the ball over the plate. If they hit it, they hit it. But uh, you don't want to walk walk him with, uh, you know, with White on deck, who seems to be swinging the bat extremely well right now. How important, how big was it to get the home run from Jack? As soon as they take the lead, you guys respond and, and tie the game and kind of walk us through your decision to, to give him the start because he hasn't had many this year. Oh, man, that was a big swing. Two strikes, I think one, two count, two, two, and – he caught a fastball and caught the bottom of it and spun it out of the park, um, tied it up. You know, we you know, we just take, you know, what do we have a uh, one run lead and all of a sudden we're down two to one. And, uh, you know, for him to, I don't know, it was just a big swing. It, 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 it changed the attitude in our dugout a little bit, honestly. Um, you know, cause you, you, you got one of your better pitchers on the mound and you could see the way they reacted when they scored those runs and, uh, yeah, it was a uh, it was a really big swing, and I, I just you know he swung the bat good Tuesday night in the game, and uh, you know a lot of the guys on the team you know have gotten opportunities, and maybe he hasn't got as much as I should have given him. He had a little injury there that slowed him down, and you know Sousa got hot, so he was DHing, and uh, it felt like that uh, tonight would be a night that he needed to have an opportunity, and he he did did a great job. You mentioned the base running mistake. Was it trying to take third or something at home? I mean, what what, what was the mistake? Well, you know, when you we worked hard to score that run with two outs, kind of a two out rally. We have a three to two lead that would have made it four to two. Uh, we got a runner in first and second, um, and you know, we hit a ground ball off the middle. But the plays in front of you, you don't want to make third out of third, and. You know, the base runner, it's not like he's a flyer. Now, he might have slowed down just a little bit, but, you know, you know, it, it's our fault. We coach him, but we, you know, they got to know not to make third out of third. We got to stop them. They need to stop. Score the run. 
feel good about that. Let the next hitter do his job. And, you know, just just glad that uh, didn't come back and get us. Dave Diggs, I think, was two for 20, including over for four tonight for that home run. Um, just what you think about him, obviously, breaking out in a big way like that? Well, it doesn't surprise me a bit. Um, you know, obviously, we need him. Um, one of our best hitters, most experienced hitters. Uh, you know, he wasn't having a great night, but we always talk about, you know, you it, you still have time. You can still help the team and, and uh, you know, to me, he had a great night, and uh, he drove in three runs. That's all I'm looking at here. Is he drove in three runs. I don't care what else he did, and just took one swing to to flip that flip his night and hopefully get him rolling. Yeah, what is it about him and three run homers? I don't know. You're gonna have to ask him. He's sitting right back there. I see him. And, and then, considering what LSU was able to do in the ninth, how how big was that? That, that you know, retrospective, it was huge. Well, it was huge. You know, we knew going into the ninth that I mean, they were going about going in the bottom of the eighth. We only had a what do we have one run lead? We don't score. We have a one run lead, and uh, you know, we might have we might have changed the way we pitched it. We might not have. We might have just given him a, a hitter or two and or run a closer out there, but. Um, you know, with him hitting that three-run homer, you know, four-run lead, it's a lot better than one. It's a lot better than three. That four-run lead is kind of special. But, uh, yeah, it, it changed It changed the way we were thinking in our dugout. Coach, LSU elected to save Holman for tomorrow, ended up throwing seven pitchers tonight. Were you kind of expecting a game like that from them? Well, yeah. I mean, we didn't think – we kind of felt like we were not going to get their Friday night pitcher. Um you know, they didn't even tell us who they were throwing today till this morning. So, uh, but what I tell our players, our team has that we just need to take care of our own business. Don't worry about all the other stuff and do what we can do. You know, we had a good pitcher going. We're at home. Let's just go play good baseball. And we, we played pretty solid. We didn't make, you know, build the mistakes and that. So, uh, that didn't surprise me that they gave him another day because he threw last Friday and, uh, you know, you can say they're pitching off or you could just say they're giving him his normal rest. Doesn't really matter. That, that's who we got to try to beat tomorrow. McLaughlin had that that one hit early on that looked like it might have been out. Do you think that the wind knocked that one down or or what? A little bit. If, if he'd hit that later in the game, probably would have went out of the park, you know, or no wind. Uh, you know, that's the way the game works. You know, you, you hit it down the left field line, it might push a little bit. But, yeah, he hit it good, but he didn't crush it. And uh, – you know, we got a stack fly out of it. It'd been nice to get four right there, but we didn't. It's the way it works. And uh but we got that big hit in the bottom of the eighth. And I guess uh, just any conversations with your pitchers just about the way the zone was this evening, obviously. How was it? It, was, it wasn't that great. Oh no. We'll look at the score. I mean, uh no, we don't we didn't talk to them about that. I I if 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 they weren't getting calls, they our guys weren't reacting. Um, so that, that, that's good. They're showing some maturity out there because it doesn't help to act like that. Um, I didn't have any problem with the zone. I don't, I don't know. Uh, the eight, nine guys got on base four times, especially Wilmsmeyer without bases loaded walk. Just speak to the production at the bottom of your lineup. Yeah, Ty had a good night and, uh, you know, s scored a couple runs, I think, one anyway, and, Drove one in with a walk, started an inning with a – or got a base down the right field line. Uh, that's what he we wanted to do down there is be like a second leadoff man, flip that lineup over and let those guys drive him in. And he's a threat to run. He can score on a double from first. I mean, he's he brings a lot of speed. But, uh, you know, at the end of the order can get on base. It's uh, – for any team, usually you've got some guys you want to hit a little bit more, hitting one, two, and three, and four in the order, and they can – it can really, it can really do some damage if those guys can get on down there. This is, I think, the third time this year where a team that doesn't strike out a lot has has had a real big strikeout night when Hagen starts. But it, it, your bullpen is also getting a lot of strikeouts in those games. Is he doing something, maybe exposing some holes or something that your relievers are able to take care of? No, I mean you, you know, you have you have reports on how to try to get guys out. You have reports on where they hit the ball and, yeah. Uh, you do the best you can there. I just, I just think, you know, you got Hagen throwing to the left side, obviously uh, bringing it pretty good. 
and then you, then you come with kind of a different type guy, right hander that's kind of got a downer and a little breaking ball, and and you know, can kind of his fastball is ninety miles an hour. It looks harder because they're trying to hit that cutter, and uh, just a lot of deception there. Uh, I think that's part of it. But I, the other thing, I think, you know, they just hit spots through well. And, uh, you know, just a big night for our pitchers, that's for sure. LSU went left on left. A couple of different times in the game in big spots, the Stovall single against lower, and then uh, I guess it was Lovich that came in, took a four-pitch walk. Just how big are those at-bats? I mean, left on left, facing a new pitcher is about as tough as it gets. Well, it was good. I mean, you think about Lovich with the bat, he put him up there to hit off a right-hander, and after one pitch, they make a change. And uh, and then draw the walk. That was great. That ended up leading to – Another walk later that uh, drove in a run, big run for us. Uh, you know, Stovall got a big two strike, two out hit off a lefty that gave us the lead, I think. And, uh, you know, left on left, you know, Stovall and McLaughlin and Diggs, they, they hit lefties fine. Maybe it all hasn't added up yet, but as the year goes on, they'll, they'll continue to climb. But, uh, you know, those guys, they see the ball pretty good either way. With those uh, back-to-back home runs that LSU hit in the top of the fourth with uh, White and Trevinsky, I remember you said early in the year that whenever uh, Smith gave up that solo home run to McNeese State in the first game, he it kind of set him, kind of set him back, back into the game, and he settled in. Do you think that was also the same way here too? And did that really like affect his way he performed tonight, uh, throwing ten strikeouts? Yeah, he. he it, I mean, he was disappointed that – I mean, White went down and hit a pitch, almost one-armed it out of the park. I mean, you got to give him credit. What do you do? He throw some off-speed down, and he hooked it out of the park, and he's a great hitter. And uh, so that would have probably been my frustration if, if I would have been pitching, been like, why well, make a good pitch, and he hits it out. You just kind of tip your cap. And, you know, I think when Travinsky hit the home run and just got him a fastball and got enough up and hit it out of the park, those guys are – those were full-grown men strong and uh you know they you, you look at three four and five in the order those are some big dudes who can hit it a long way and uh you know but solo home runs will beat you every now and then but they don't beat you a, a lot and you know I think that our pitching staff has enough experience to not let it bother them too much I didn't see Hagan getting uptight at all even though he gave up back to back there were solos you know one swing we we scored three um you know I, I don't know. There's the experience he gained early in the season, the experience he gained over the last two years. That's why he's so good. You mentioned the attitude in the dugout. Has that been a plus this year? Is it older guys, you know? Uh, well, the attitude's been good all year. You know, winning helps, number one. Uh, played a lot of different guys. But, you know, guys are into it. They want to win, whether they're in the lineup or not. And we appreciate that. Uh, but, yeah, it's uh, – they're all pulling for each other in there. All right, coach. Thank you. Thank you, guys.